We tend to consider this being nice business as something very, very positive. And so by trying to continue to be nice and therefore um, have people around us say, oh, you know, they're such a nice person. I can't believe that happens to them or because why nice people finish last, right? Um, there is a... A certain law of the jungle that we tend to ignore in the name of some ideas that really never functioned. Um, so yeah, we promote niceness over assertiveness at all costs and we consider being nice as the way to be. And now your definition of nice versus mine <laughs> will vary greatly because I don't like to be lied to. I don't like to be sugar-coated in the name of niceness um, and a, a number of other concepts that are considered nice. I totally don't appreciate them. So to me, nice does not pay off and nice immediately sets alarm bells when someone specially self-identifies as, as nice that definitely sends my alarm bells ringing uh, because that's not cri uh, the criteria for me integrity and authenticity values a lot more than nice but we consider that as positive and we do have a lot of hang-ups on positive versus negative now i do believe that the evolution of of that is being even forced upon us by what's happening around, we are forced by our circumstances to take a stand, like it or not. And we are going to continue to continue to be forced to take a stand um, on what we find right, what we find wrong, and so on. And as much as we want to unite, we can't unite. And the division between us, it's greater and stronger with by the hour. Um, and so this whole nice business, uh, it's kind of ran its course and everyone ends up expressing their bias and expressing their hidden thoughts because permission was given by the <laughs> authorities around us. Um, unwittingly, but then ever so timely. And let's contemplate this. I do believe that what's happening is we will not see unification of us as a human race as long as we don't unify within ourselves. And as long as we have here in our gut, our inner self, our higher self desiring one response and here our conditioned niceness giving another response, we are at war. This and this don't match. For as long as each individual is at war, how the fuck can we dream of unification uh, or on global unification? It's, uh, it's the stupidest concept ever. So no, the only way to see uh, a peaceful world is to see a peaceful individual. Individuals cannot be at peace as long as they keep considering bullshit A positive, bullshit B negative. So the wholeness and the, 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 the unification of the self is paramount. So now let me elaborate on the positive. Let's say a child is born in what we consider a very negative environment. Let's say he's born to a Nazi, neo-Nazi or whatever extremist family you want to choose. This child is a boy. And it's indoctrinated with um, being part of our clan is not to be nice, is to be actually hateful, to be strong means this, this, this. So what the rest of society would consider totally not nice. So to him, nice and doing right by his family is not nice by the rest of us, let's say. But to him, he's brought up that that is the right thing to do. So he grows up to be that which is totally not nice. So he's the complete asshole. He's, he's rough. He's bit slapping everyone in, the, in his path. He's sh 
<laughs> giving out the law on the thick. And to him, he's doing a good job. To him, that is nice. But something inside of him, again, sometimes he sees someone that he really doesn't hate. He really doesn't want to dish out what this 